Apollo the Bobcat is back home tonight after breaking loose from his home at the Blanford Nature Center. The Bobcat was reported missing on Friday. News H's Jacqueline Francis has a story of how and who helped bring Apollo home. It was none other than Traffic Tom's uncle who spotted the missing Bobcat, safely trapping him before sending him back on his way to the Nature Center. But exactly how Apollo pulled off this great escape? Well, that remains a mystery. He's the Houdini of Bobcats, one of the newest additions to Blanford Nature Center, escaping his enclosure, setting off on an adventure. But it turns out he didn't make it far. Don Vandermeulen lives next door to the Nature Center and spotted the bobcat in the woods earlier this week. At the time, I thought it was just a wild bobcat. And then when I saw the Blanford report on their Facebook page, um, I decided that the one I had seen on Wednesday was none other than our friend Apollo here. Last night, he lured Apollo in using a live trap. A can of tuna fish. <laughs> with holes poked in it so the aroma could get out. And sure enough, he must like tuna fish, so he walked right into the trap. And this morning, uh, Sunday, he was in the trap, and so I called TV8, and the rest is history. When our crew arrived, Apollo was there waiting. Police and the Nature Center taking it from there. Blanford CEO telling us they're happy to have him home. Through the initial checkup, he looks great, uh, but he's currently, you know, our resources and our attention today has been getting him uh, the vet care uh, and uh, checkup that he needs to, to make sure that, again, his adventure he is safe from and uh, can continue to thrive. While wild bobcats can make it on their own in West Michigan, Apollo and his sister Artemis were never given that chance after their mother was hit and killed by a car this spring. The age that he was when his mother was killed, when he was still a nursing kitten, he did not have the appropriate time uh, to be able to have the survival skills needed to be a wild cat. Blanford Nature Center, their new forever home. That's if Apollo will stay put. I was glad I was able to catch him because I don't know how well he would have survived in the wild. And it's nice to have him back home where he belongs. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.